I can go on record and I can safely say this is one of the most, if not the most, haunting song I have ever heard. From the feel of it, the vibe of it, the aura, the lyrical content, which is a real thing that actually happened. There's just something so hauntingly beautiful about it. When I'm walking home alone at night, I can't listen to this song. Because it's just, it's that haunting. And if you're Canadian and you've been following the news, I, I'm positive this is international news because he was a worldwide legend. Gordon Lightfoot, without a doubt, a Canadian legend. He did pass away this week. And ever since then, this song has been on repeat. I listen to it when I'm at work with lots of lights and lots of people. There's something so... I don't know. This is one of those songs that I just... When I listen to it, it's just full undivided attention. The world around me doesn't exist. Just this song exists. So before I get going, be sure to subscribe. Helps me out so much. Patreon is in the description down below. New uploads every Sunday. If you haven't heard this song before, buckle up. Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. This is peak storytelling in a song as well. You'll see what I mean. On down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. <coughs> the lake it is said never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Tail sound and the wave broke over the railing. And every man knew as the captain did too, twas the witch of November come stealing. Just chills every time, no matter how many times I hear it. I love it. And every man knew as the captain did too. Was the witch of November come stealing? The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. to feed you at 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in he said fellas it's been good to know you the captain wired in he had water coming in and the good 
ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. See? I'm hearing things now. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron Rose Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her and The iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November remembered See what I mean? Complete storytelling. That was basically introduced, or the, how that song went, was basically introducing us to the, the Edmund Fitzgerald. You had everyone getting on the ship, sailing out, the build-up to the event, the actual event itself, the fallout of the event, like the search and all that, Plus, you had the funeral. It told the whole story. Obviously, there's a lot, like, there's a lot that he couldn't put in the song that wouldn't really make sense for the feel of the song. But the main story, the meat and potatoes of the story, that's what that was. What the ship was, the build-up to it, Leaning into the storm, the storm itself, the aftermath, the search, the funeral. It's just... And now, I know, I haven't... I haven't heard a lot of Gordon Lightfoot. And I know as a Canadian, I just broke one of the cardinal rules. But 
it's not like I have anything against him. He's just one of those one of those artists that just kind of slipped under my radar. But I do <clears throat> I do intend to change that. It took me a while to get into the tragically hip, but I did. Although music at work, the first song I, well, the first real song I remember by them, I'm sure I heard many before. But music at work, obsessed with that song. I want to go back and listen to this again, though. But for now... That's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Later.